G'day guys, it's Rob from TAT. Just got a really quick one in today. We've got a Mazda 2 that's come in for an ABS light on. So the customer actually had already replaced the right hand front wheel speed sensor and it did not rectify the problem at all. So we've actually repaired the car already. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take you through the very quick process of what we found and how we rectified it. So stay with us. So yeah, firstly what I want you to look at is the state of that connector. Um, so what we did is obviously we probed these two wires as we are now and we just wanted to confirm uh, being a magneto active, well, magneto resistive active type wheel speed sensor we needed to make sure that we had power on one side and ground on the other side and obviously on the vehicle side we do have that as you can see 10 volts um, but what we did find is on the other side of the sensor there was no battery feed from the actual vehicle side and the reason why is this connector was damaged and the terminal tension was actually too great and it was not touching properly so um, but look I'll just pull this out and I'll just quickly show you uh, there was a massive cable tie holding it on and if you see now I can basically almost pull that apart so that's completely broken you know we obviously we've tightened up those terminals and all is good now so that is rectified um, what I'll do is I'll show you what it looks like on a scope if you've never seen a uh, magneto type um, active wheel speed sensor with a digital square wave instead of your normal AC type square uh, AC type sine wave um, so I'll connect the scope up put in AC coupled mode we'll get it up and we'll get the Verus on there too and we'll look at the live data and you know that's that's how we did it you know look at the live data first see we're getting no signal and then we came down here with the wiring to confirm that integrity there and there obviously wasn't any so yeah like I said we repaired that um, that terminal tension and we're going to fix up that uh, connector as best as possible but we are going to recommend a new connector but I will show you what it should look like so we are back broken with the sensor obviously our signal wire from the Pico um, on the, the positive side of the connector and our ground lead of the Pico to the ground side and firstly we just confirmed that that's what we're seeing on the scan tool wheel speed sensor right hand front now we've got a reading at 22 kilometers an hour and then we go to our scope and now you can see that we are AC coupled for this sensor and um, as you can tell there we have a great digital square wave but it's always important to make sure you're using the ground of the connector because what I'll do is I'll change the ground to the body and I'll show you what it looks like so we'll disconnect that we'll put it to the body and look how hashy that is so you know if you just got this signal up with the uh, body ground you may think to yourself there's interference going on and there's an issue uh, and that's why it's not reading properly but that's not the case so um, that's all repaired and uh, yeah just a really simple one this one guys just to you know it's always uh, a good idea to be making sure that we're checking the connector area before we ever replace a component just in, in case the component wasn't faulty in the first place which this one may not have been Obviously, we didn't get a chance to test it beforehand, but uh, now we have, and the vehicle is repaired. So, there we go, guys. A very, very simple and quick one today, but it just shows the importance of making sure that we're checking connectors and wiring before we start replacing components. Like I said before, the last thing, last thing we want to do is obviously... You know, ring the customer up, we get an ABS light on, we automatically assume that the sensor's faulty, ring the customer, sell them a wheel speed sensor, fit it, and it doesn't fix the problem. So, just pays to do our due diligence and make sure we, you know, 100% rectify the fault. So, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.